Well, good day. I have understood that you had some curiosity about the house, and I'm very pleased to be able to answer questions for you. This is where I begin every day, although I will tell you that it is not common for us to have guests here. My wife and I, uh, when we'd been married some 13 years, we decided that we wanted to have our own bedchamber that was somewhat separate from the rest of the house, and so I added an extension upon the house to the south part, and this and the study below were the result. Every day I begin here, and I am not dressed in what I currently am, but I shall not be uh, exposing myself to any criticism in that nature right now. And uh, as my wife will stay up here for some time and begin some of her meditations for the day, and also will uh, take some time in what is considered her office here. But then I shall head down the stairs. Uh, something I must warn you about. I have quite a bit of difficulty uh, when I pass through these stairs. I almost always uh, have to duck to avoid hitting my head, and if I do not remind myself to do so, it, it takes great effort not to let oaths fall from my mouth. But as you can see, uh, while the house has been built to my every desire, sometimes things fall a bit short. And now we are entering my study, or my sanctuary. As I said before, after my wife and I were married some 13 years, we decided we needed a bit more privacy. We had many guests, even then. And we built the bedchamber above and my study here below. Every morning when I rise, I come down the stairs, come right through this door where I change into my clothes for the day, and then I begin the work of my correspondence, which is voluminous. It seems that letters come from all corners of the globe, and I am constantly needing to continue to write. But uh, in here, in my private area, I keep my books, which I've collected over the many years, and I keep some other mementos that I think are important to keep close to me, including that of my brother, Lawrence. My eldest brother, who was uh, my very dear friend as well, and I don't think that anyone could ask for a better brother than what I had in Lawrence. When I was but 11 years old, my father passed away, and Lawrence very much so stepped into the breach that was left by him. I owe a great deal to him. Also, of course, I'm surrounded by other things, uh, busts of Captain Jones, this, this fan chair, which seems to get a great deal of curiosity from some people, was one I purchased in Philadelphia. It uh, does an adequate job of keeping one cool, although one does get their exercise in their feet at the same time. But uh, let me take you on to the dining area. I think you'll find uh, that uh, more public areas of the home are perhaps more social and to your liking. After the business of the day, the correspondence and anything else that needs attention is uh, taken care of in the study, uh, then we will come here for our breakfast. Uh, my wife usually sees to it that uh, I have something good before me, quite often a large stack of corn pancakes covered with honey and butter, very much to my liking. Uh, you may note the color of the room. I've been told many times that green is excellent for the digestion. And in this case, uh, it is a vertigree green that uh, well, it's not easy to acquire, and it takes quite a bit of maintenance, but I'm quite pleased with the appearance of it. I, I hope you find it to your liking as well. This uh, room has some very happy memories in it, and some not as happy, but uh, I will leave that for another time. Perhaps you would like to join me in the entryway. The staircase here, while it is very attractive, has the unfortunate effect of making it so that my windows from the west front are not as symmetrical as I would like. It was a compromise that I had to make while designing the house and enlarging it. We are now in the entryway, and that is the domain of our butler, Frank. Here at Mount Vernon, my main duties are to supervise the other slaves working in this household and to greet all the guests who come through this door here. And if there is time, I'll even take them to meet the general. 
And if the house is running properly, I always know that is because of the great efforts of Frank. This over here might be of some interest to you. This is the key to the Bastille. This was a gift from the Marquis de Lafayette. Uh, when the Bastille fell, he saw to it that the key was packed and shipped to me. It passed through quite few hands before it came to here to Mount Vernon. Below it is a picture of that uh, fortress that he considered to be a fortress of tyranny. And so the symbol of the destroyed Bastille and the key that is left, he now says, is a symbol of liberty and the end of tyranny. May it ever be so. But uh, perhaps you might like to see the formal parlor. This is our formal parlor. And as you can see, it is arranged for entertaining guests. The portraits are those uh, my wife quite likes. Uh, this one, of course, done by Mr. Peel that she requested. But the others here were actually done before I married her. They were done by an artist by the name of Wollaston. And you may note that the uh, portrait here and the portrait of the children on the other side uh, all bear the same eyes. It is a feature of Mr. Wollaston's work which I cannot abide by. I find it uh, very disturbing and nothing like the, the figures themselves. But Mr. Wollaston was very popular in these parts and uh, my wife, of course, having lost both of the children, now very much so, views these as too dear to ever put away, put down. Although there were some better portraits of them made. Still, this is the room where we'll most likely bring guests if uh, we are having a more formal situation. But this is not the family parlor. That is just over the way. Let me take you there. This is our family parlor, and uh, far from the formal parlor, this is the one where we spend our time together as a family. Quite often in the evening, after our supper, we will read from the newspaper, or sometimes from books that we've been reading, uh, perhaps a passage from a play. Uh, very entertaining evening spent here, uh, with friends and family alike. Also, you may note that uh, my, my granddaughter plays at the harpsichord. I myself cannot raise a note on instrument or by voice, but she has become very accomplished. And the wallpaper in here is a cherry blossom theme. It delights my wife, and I don't think I've ever seen a cheerier wallpaper in all of Virginia. Well, might we then continue on out to the piazza, yes? I've often said that there's no home more happily situated in all of America than Mount Vernon. The view from the piazza speaks to that. You can see our neighbors in Maryland from here. We can see all the trade that is coming up the river. And it is an excellent place to spend the afternoon. My wife and I quite often will take our dinner right here on the piazza. Enjoy that breeze that cools you in the afternoon. Our guests have uh, found it quite delightful as well. I think that there is perhaps no place within the house that uh, feels as much like a room without being one. It is my outdoor room, if you will. But uh, let me take you a little further into uh, the new room. This is what I call the new room. I began this project in 1776, but it was more than 10 years before I saw it completed. I wanted a more genteel room for entertaining guests, something that spoke of oh, the direction I saw America headed and certainly hoping that our fortunes would follow. Farming is the theme, of course, uh, as it is through most of my home. In fact, one visitor, Mr. Vaughn, was so impressed with what we were beginning here, that he was kind enough to send me his very own fireplace here that is in itself a farm theme. And I've had it installed, and I think it works very well within the room. 
you may also notice some of the art, uh, for instance, the Hudson River painting here, uh, just after the, uh, the peace agreements were reached and I was in Newburgh, New York. I had opportunity to take some of the land going up the Hudson River and uh, saw some of the farmland, that Western land that I feel will be very much so part of the expansion in our future. I think that uh, that farmland, I have not seen any richer or more prosperous that uh, has not yet been uh, seized. And so I hope that at some point in the near future to acquire some of that land uh, for myself, but I also see that being a, a great breadbasket for our future endeavors in farming. The plaster work above, you might note, is that uh, which is built by a gentleman I acquired from my sister. He was working at her house of Kenmore and began this plaster work there, and I was so taken with it, I asked if he would come here and do a similar work here, but with, with my themes in mind instead. And this window is the window that uh, Mr. Peel once said uh, has what he called good painting light. He said, painting from the north is always an excellent choice. And so that is, uh, that is the crowning piece of the room, I feel. Well, I certainly hope you've enjoyed our walk through the house today. I hope you will come back and see us again very soon. It's a great pleasure to be with you.